Got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. All right, so we did a video on this uh, maybe a couple weeks back. Yeah, I did a couple of videos about Walmart leaving Chicago. Yeah, and then, you know, all these politicians was complaining. Hey, you know that saying? They say once you go black, you never go back? Yeah. Not in Walmart's case. Once you go black, you go running back. <laughs> go to the white people. <laughs> once you go black, you go running <laughs> straight back. <laughs> to the suburbs. I shouldn't have said that. That was inappropriate. That was reprehensible what I just said. But I don't give a crap. That was facts. That was a good joke, too. That was facts. That was a damn good joke. That was facts. It was offensive, but it was a damn good joke. Well, it was based in reality. It was, it was factual. Yeah. yeah, it was factual. Right. So, you know, and then all the politicians came out and they were saying, man, this is racist. Y'all taking this away from the black community. What they going to eat now? Right, but this is I came across this video on YouTube. Now I'm not I'm not sure what her political affiliation is. Yeah. B- being black, she's more likely she's a Democrat, but who knows? Yeah. That's not why I chose her video. She gave an objective, yeah, rational response why Walmart left. It's irrelevant what's her political affiliation. Yeah, it doesn't is. matter. She's spitting facts. She's spitting she's facts. spitting truth. And this is if she is for, uh, if she is left leaning, she's a true liberal. Check out her response while Walmart left Chicago. Yeah. Walmart told us in a statement that their annual losses nearly doubled in Chicago in the last five years, that losing millions of dollars a year is forcing them to close these stores. Walmart is closing four stores in areas where they are saying they're not profitable, right? Um, And people are outraged. I mean, Outrage. So the big Walmart over on 83rd and uh, Stewart is closing. And today they've been having a bunch of protests, angry people out. People are just angry and sad S- protesting Walmart. We got politicians out there making speeches saying, how could Walmart do this to the community? And now they're calling Walmart racist for taking a resource out of the black community and how dare them. They need to explain how it is that Walmart is not profitable when this store is always full. It's always packed people are always shopping do y'all want walmart to just like come out and say it y'all ninjas steal black people need to stop lying we really need to stop lying like i i sincerely hate the blind misplaced anger it's like that Walmart was completely destroyed during the riots, during COVID. I mean, completely destroyed. They even set something on fire in that store, <laughs> set off the sprinklers and flooded the entire store. <laughs> and Walmart said, the hell with y'all. We're not reopening this store, period, because it's not worth it. So what happened? The community came together, protested, petitioned for Walmart to reopen that store. I don't even think it's been a full two. I don't think it's been a full two years since that Walmart has reopened. So Walmart said, okay, we'll give it another shot. We'll reopen the store because we know that the community needs it. I was talking to one of the managers in there and he was just telling me how bad the theft is at that store. Not only the theft is terrible, they have a lot of violent incidents. I think maybe it was just two weeks ago, someone got killed up there. I hate going to that store. I go, I go to that store out of necessity. I honestly go to that store out of necessity when I'm tired and I just don't feel like driving anywhere else. Now, the day after Walmart announced that they were closing four stores, the very next day, somebody went in there and stole six TVs out of the store. <laughs> and y'all want to stand out there and protest and say, oh, how could they do this? They are, they are hurting our community. Well, Walmart was a resource for this community. The community did not protect that resource, so the resource is going away. Mm-hmm. And people are upset and calling Walmart racist because of because of this move. Please make it make sense. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody! White flight happens again. <laughs> <laughs> white flight. Well, she bring up uh, a point. That's hey, that's white flight right there. <laughs> they can't deal with them niggas. <laughs> you niggas hold another level. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that, um, hey, white flight is real, man. White flight is real. 
you can't expect white people to stay in the neighborhood when they can't make no money. You can't. You, no, you can't expect black people to stay in the neighborhood. Exactly. You, you can't, can't expect no Chinese. You can't expect anybody to stay in the neighborhood with the area of the theft and the crime and the violence and the theft is that bad. No, people in the business, Walmart's in the business of making money. Yeah. Um, I mean, not only is, that, I mean, she told during COVID, during those riots, yeah. they destroyed that store. That store. So, you mm -hmm. know, they lost millions when that happened mm -hmm. right there alone. And then also had a theft problem to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then you got people getting killed up there. Yeah. I mean, that's a liability for uh, the company just to have the employees working in a violent area. Yeah. That's a huge liability for them. They sitting there blaming white folks, Walmart, they're racist. Black people was complicit in that store's demise. They were yeah. complicit. Yeah. Y'all, all that, y'all, everything that's happening to the black community yeah. is virtually self-inflicted. Yeah, self-inflicted. Y'all play, y'all, y'all played a huge role in your own demise. If that store was making money, they're not leaving. If yeah. that store is not experiencing high levels of theft, that store is still there. Yeah, I if you care. niggas stop acting like a bunch of crazy lunatics, <laughs> you will still have a Walmart. <laughs> but white people ain't putting up with that foolishness. White people ain't you gonna... think the Waltons <laughs> gonna put up with a bunch of niggas? <laughs> Remember the old show, The Waltons? Yeah, I was John Boy. <laughs> John, John Boy ain't putting up with that shit. <laughs> I can just every time I hear that that company, uh, the, the owner, the the I think of that show, Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Them wholesome, clean <laughs> white folks. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think of the Waltons. I think of the Walton family and John Boy. I bet John Boy up in the executive office said, "Yep, I'm tired of these niggas. <laughs> Pack your shit up. We leave. It. Yeah, we go. We go and I'm going to the suburbs. Yeah." But the politicians in Chicago, what did they say? They spinning it. Oh, this is they spinning. This it. is racism. They politicize. This it. is they don't like our kind over here. Yeah, they don't like the Negro. Yeah, they, they politicize. This is white supremacy. They, they embellishing the story, they're sensationalizing it. They're doing it for political spin, man, to get votes. And black people, y'all believe. Them. Well, and the black people uh, to believe them, y'all was up in the damn, y'all probably, man, y'all, They man. don't believe that. They lying. Just yeah. like she said, y'all stop. Y'all actually, not only you lying, you lying to yourself. Yeah. I can understand lying to somebody else, but you lying to yourself. That's like telling a man he can have a baby. That's like telling a woman she can have a mushroom tip and that's squirt like, semen. That's like telling a man you can menstruate. That's like telling a woman she got foreskin. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. I'm bringing it hard this time. Damn good show. Damn good show. Damn good show. Hey, don't forget, we're giving away a new truck, a Ford Raptor, and it's yeah. clean. Yeah. You can, oh man, you're gonna draw all kinds of attention with this truck. And don't forget, when you get the truck, I'm gonna put $10,000 in the glove compartment. To enter to win it, just go yeah. to our website, officialhogswiss.com. I like that. Buy yourself. To enter to win it. To enter to win it. All you gotta do is buy some. From officialharshtwins.com. Yeah.